Yo, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, Koozie, back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. We're gonna get right to it this time. Let's go. Man, I ain't never seen that. For water moccasins or something, man. I ain't never seen no machine like that, but that's a tight little boat slash front end loader for the water, man. I ain't gonna lie with the forks on it. That's a bad little machine. I ain't gonna lie. He camouflaged into a closed hanger and avoided getting caught. Oh, no. Man, give my boy a Grammy, man. Even though it was obviously, you know, fake. It, the whole video was fake. Because you could see old boy seen him, man. He looked at him on the way back, too. He had his head, like, turned when he was, like, he act like he ain't seen him. But it was good. It was good acting, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Old boy did his thing, for sure. yourself man if you have common sense why would they wanna exactly why would they wanna make these masks why would they do that you heard about the guy the white guy robbing that bank and he had a black, a black skin mask on looking like a black dude come on man that's creepy For a reason It's not for no reason Even though it may seem like it's just a random reason It's to make you question everything Remember when I said question everything Just think about what's going on right now Everything Around you Think about what's really going on What everybody's been talking about right now It's a certain debate with two certain Two certain individuals Higher powerful individuals And they've been talking about one maybe two both of them may have doubles. How could they get this off? How to, how could they, just think about that. How could they make this happen? Think about a lot of other people that you like to watch on TV and that a lot of y'all like to worship and stuff. You know, think about that. They could be at the same place at two or two places at once. Or just all kind of crazy scenarios. Just think about it. You might be watching them through the screen like this somewhere and see something and weird and be like, man, that ain't looking like the same person. A little staggy in certain areas on their facial features. Uh, so this and that. That's all I'm doing. Just, just spark, you know, to strike that uh, that thought, you know, that that in your head to make you want to think. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do, man. That's all. Let's go. Let's keep it going. 
Well, we Either she really in tune with nature or she might have peed in the water. And that's why the fish are surrounding her. Y'all let me know what you let me know what you think. That's uh that's kinda crazy though, ain't it? But hey, it's logical. Buck breaking is a form of sexual abuse which became very popular in the Caribbean. It was used by white slave owners as well as merchants. What made buck breaking distinct from other punishments was that only male slaves were victims. Buck breaking was done to cripple the ego and strength of the male slaves. Most slaves, after being our asterisk, committed suicide as they could not live with the shame. And there's a lot of people out there that be like, man, this and that and that and that and man, you racist and this and that because you stand up for your own people, what, you know. That's crazy to me, but another thing is what I'm saying is they be talking about reparations and stuff to people that you don't deserve it. Do you see what these people went through? Or I ain't gonna say these people, but I'm saying our people, the people before us. That's what I mean when I say these people, the people before us, like our ancestors, man. They, that's not nothing to play with, man. Y'all wasn't getting like, you know, you could say your race was slaves too, but were your race done like this? If your race was getting done like this by an another race, like, or just say our race, your butt would still be sore too. You would be still be talking about this and want something, especially if every other race has got what they deserve or what they feel, they feel like they deserve from what they went through. Like, you know, they got this land, they got this certain amount of this and that and that and that. But it's only one race that ain't really got what was what's due to them yet, and y'all know, and that's why it's it's a problem, and it's not it's only a problem to the ones that's part of the problem, to be honest. But uh, it's not about that, man, y'all. This it's all about you know what they say the red blood against the blue or the green or whatever, you know, them people that ain't them things that ain't us. That's what it's really about, man. But uh, y'all. Let's get it, man, because it's going to be a rough one. All right, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make piss air. So uh, right there, that's seven jugs of piss. And right here, you need a fan. What you're going to want to do is take the fan, put it in front, and then so the piss, will, the, the piss air will go in the back of the fan, and then the back of the fan will, the front of the fan will spray the air, and now you got a fragrance and a piss of beautiful air. And so get you some piss air. It's hygienic. It smells good. And yeah. Yay! Piss air. I love it. So sweet. Now that's outrageous. Why is red night vision referred to as demon vision? A while back in the Vietnam War, some testing was being done on red night vision, the earliest of its kind being used in active combat. And some soldiers reported with that night vision being able to see demons through the tubes. Shortly after this, the red coloration was discontinued from night vision, and we switched over to green and white phosphorus. It can't be confirmed, but some people say that the move away from red night vision is specifically because red night vision might let you see demons. Since that point in time, red night vision has pretty much gone missing. You can't find it, you can't buy it, and some people even question whether it really existed in the first place. How many of y'all heard of that theory in the... Uh to go with the theory before that about the fist thing man don't try that at home y'all man this is just for kicks and jokes some of this stuff man that's why i always tell y'all man these videos are for entertainment purposes don't believe anything that you hear or see in these videos always do your own discernment always 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 do your own research i mean not do your own discernment always you use your own discernment but always do your own research man always man for real so this is trippy you can actually see the batteries through the back of the remote 
with an oculus. That is crazy! Look, you can see. Hmm, that's strange, ain't it? I know. Big old balls. <laughs> Watch <laughs> the wall. What y'all think that was a shadow or what? What the fuck y'all? God damn! God damn! God damn! Now y'all pause it and read that, man. And, and then the piece gonna be a lot of people out there. He got what he deserved, this and that and that, but you know it's gonna be the one thing with that. It's gonna be, notice the complexion of that person that's gonna be saying that. And that's crazy. But then I'm the racist, well, we the right, you racist for sticking up for your own color, your own kind that got done like this, man, which is crazy, man. But anyways, y'all read that and let me know what y'all think about that. Does any person deserve that? Me personally, no. I don't think my worst enemy would deserve the fate like this. You know, if they don't deserve jail, they sure don't deserve nothing like that. That's crazy. You're a sick individual. That's the At one point, there were documents where the U.S. government took audio recordings during the 1930s and the 1940s of black people who were former slaves. And a lot of them recalled during slavery, they were degendered to a certain degree, meaning that they, their individual sexuality was not recognized. The black boys and girls were all treated interchangeably. And a lot of the black males, when they were children, they said that they had to wear dresses. They would put everybody in dresses. And that was a way to degender and to dehumanize a group of people. If you don't look at them as a gender or what their gender is and you just make them interchangeable, you can dehumanize them to a certain degree. And that was a very common thing during slavery, the degendering of black people. Okay, okay. Notice how real they look. I know a guy that almost looked just like this dude. Like this mask guy. And y'all don't understand the type of confusion this is start, man. You go, that dude wear that mask, go in the wrong neighborhood, do something to a, a certain complexion woman, or do something to a certain complexion little boy, or do something to somebody else. And all they got to do is say, uh, it was this complexion color guy or person. And it's all hell broke loose, man. You see, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm getting. Y'all know what I'm getting. That is crazy, man. And the whole time, it's a whole setup, man. Y'all watch the movies, man. On how these people be getting down, it's scandalous. And it's not all the people. It's a certain group of the uh, of people. You know what I'm saying? With different different races for different. You know what I'm saying? Different jobs. You know they all. You know everybody got different different itineraries. You know what I'm saying? Imagine the end. Oh, hell no. Y'all 
Y'all better be well. You don't know what you sleep with these days. This is just too funny. This lady is here. And then there she is again. <laughs> and, and this man <laughs> is here. Where is he? He's here. And then he's here as well. <laughs> So my favourite one is this lady who is in front of Tao, who is behind Tao, but just doing the same face. They're quite, quite literally doing the same face. <laughs> I just don't understand. Why didn't they change their costumes? At least take off the accessories, man. Like, what is... What? Man, these folks done told y'all the world is one big stage and you just part of the show and half the time we don't even know. Sad, man. They learned the art. We actually brought Hollywood back into our labs. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that one. That was... Them motherfuckers' mask was looking realistic, man. Too real, man. Too real. Y'all heard what she was saying? Man, that is wow. Okay, has anyone else seen this clip going around on Instagram of Stephen Baldwin dancing with this logo right here and this caption with John 336? So again, I'll play it one more time for you guys. This is his official Instagram account. Everybody was pointing out the whole Punisher logo for we know what the Punisher symbolizes. Now, if you do not know who Stephen Baldwin is, he's an actor, and he's also the father-in-law to Justin Bieber. Now, what I find odd is how everybody is pointing out in this video the Punisher logo that he had, showing that there's going to be judgment coming upon the elite who have been doing evil things behind the scenes, right? But I really want to focus in on another thing he said here in the caption, right? So he goes, yo, Hollywood, y'all effed around for too long, but hey, was coming back anyway as where to be caught up in the air that no one's bringing that part up, thought I'd give all unrighteous a little heads up. Apocalyptic is on the way. And then he shows John 3:36 at the top right. Now John 3:36 is he who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides oh, these on him. Things crazy man y'all what stevie b what y'all think about it man stevie b the brother of alec baldwin or is it alec baldwin the brother of stevie b y'all let me know what y'all think about that man stevie baldwin man stephen baldwin man hell of an actor y'all let me know you know what i'm saying he might be on to something this is how to heal your eyes. Salt every offering, Leviticus 2.13. Heals the eyes, the skin, the hair, the central nervous system. Magnesium and salt heals everything inside of your body. It's why it is the number one or number two deficiency in the world next to a copper deficiency. When you combine the copper with the magnesium, you're going to not only regrow your eyes, but also your hair loss issue is going to go away. And these symptoms of Alzheimer's or all brain fog also are going to start to deteriorate and leave your body once you start doing the master's cleanse the cayenne the salt the key lime the olive oil every morning afternoon and evening remember the salt and all of these herbs they really just regrow the body's organs right that's the power of the magnesium but that's why they also made your salt illegal that you see today they replace the real salt with fake white iodized table salt which strips the body of the precious minerals and copper and magnesiums that it needs in order to be stress free they also took away your goat milk check out what copper does for the body and how it repairs your tissue your body needs animal based copper in order to allow that copper to be made bioavailable for the rest of the body fast 12 to 24 hours a day combine it with the salt as well as the herbs you guys will be great in no time don't forget the beef liver in order to heal the copper deficiency copper also has been shown to regrow the eyes that's why we made you guys a Bible health book. We ain't got notes.
they had seasoning plantations, which were plantations used to break the slaves. And one plantation or one place that had a lot of seasoning plantations was Jamaica. And people have to wonder, what were they doing on these seasoning plantations that was worse than what was happening on the regular plantations? Well, one thing that they were doing on these plantations, especially in Jamaica, they were doing a process called buck breaking, where the white supremacist slave owner or the white supremacist um, overseer would literally rape black men in front of the whole black population in order to break his spirit, in order to break him down as a man, in order to show dominance against him, in order to show the rest of the black population that this is not your leader. I just made your leader submit to me sexually. And this happened a lot in Jamaica. This is why homosexuality is so looked down upon in Jamaican culture today. Man. And it was a way primarily of cutting down those who Man, and y'all want to tell me that, you know, y'all trying to tell me that all this stuff is okay, though. Not even saying it's, that it's just okay, but like, come on, man. Like, y'all don't think people are old. Man, these people are due for what they owe, man. That's all I'm going to say, man. And if they not, they generations are, their ancestors are, period. Hey guys, check out this amazing video of a cat that has features similar to a human being. Now the lady that owns this cat, she said that she found the cat in El Paso, Texas, outside. And that she brought the cat inside to give it a place to live. She said that after a couple of days of staring at the cat, she realized that the cat won't even meow or even pay much attention to her. It's almost like he had a conscience. He was thinking about something else. She claims that this cat has even scared her to the point where she feels like when the cat is staring at her, like if it's looking into her soul. Ever since she's had this cat, Katie has also had bad dreams, as well as had other animals on her porch up here that are very extraterrestrial looking. Comment below, what do you guys think this is? Y'all think, man, y'all think it's a possibility that was a person, man, in the cat's body? I don't know, man, but it's the reason why them people in Egypt used to worship them cats. It could be a spirit or something trapped in it. The DS is very, very adamantly fighting to prevent you from learning about extraterrestrials. That's the last thing they want you to know about. They want you to be afraid. They want you to see them as gods, to see them as authority figures. The last thing they want is for you to understand there's a higher power that answers Christianity, answers Islam, answers Buddhism, answers Hinduism. It pays off all of these ancient teachings that we've inherited that often become religions. And we find out that these are not mythological texts. These are actual documented, factual, historical accounts. The Bible has ET contact, the Quran has ET contact, Buddhist scriptures have multiple examples of ET contact, so does the Hebrew scriptures, I mean it's everywhere. So we're going to have a big awakening and as I've said before, I have been used by these higher beings telepathically to convey a message which is the earth changes that we were afraid were going to happen, pole shift, solar flash, tsunami, all that stuff, that's not going to be happening. We're actually going to be spared these disasters because we've learned the lessons that Jesus meant to teach us, to be loving towards other people. Enough of us have learned these lessons of love. Joy Berman just donated, thank you very much. We've learned these lessons of love so that we don't have to go through this catastrophe. We've authorized a positive timeline. And so it's very important to understand that the most jealously guarded secrets by the DS are the forbidden technologies. This is the most dangerous thing to talk about. They will threaten you the most, they will attack you the most, they will take intelligence assets and put them on you. Those intelligence assets are told that you're full of crap, told that you're a con artist, told that you're lying. The assets don't even know that you're telling the truth. And their job is just to try to attack you and ruin your life. And they're very tenacious. I'm gonna show you some examples of this today. Have you ever heard about the Dicenian goggles? Hold up, man. Y'all notice what he was saying, man. 
Like I always tell y'all, man, it's not a coincidence. Y'all pay attention to the date at the top on the caption, man. And uh, don't fall for the boo-boo, man, because uh, I think old boy is an agent of the dark side, man, because you listening, he's acting like he's against them. Talking about the DS, if you're talking about the deepest stature, or not stature, state-bound, if you catch my drift, you know what I'm saying? Group. You know, you know what I'm saying, saying that they, you know, don't want you knowing about the UFOs, but these people just came out talking about them, and they still saying UFOs and all this and that. With they are demonic beings, they're demons, man. Y'all don't forget that they still trying to make you fall for the boo boo, man. They trying to bamboozle you, so uh, don't don't think you, you know what I'm saying. Just because they he coming out telling you this and that, like he seem like he a good guy, don't mean don't. It's don't don't fall for the woo. That's all I'm saying, y'all. See through the smoke screen. God, that sounds fucked up. <laughs> some time ago, a miner discovered Dicenian ore, and for some odd reason or not, he decided to crush it up and mix it with glass, creating the Dicenian goggles. Reportedly, after wearing it for some time, he was able to see into higher levels of the electromagnetic spectrum, hmm. things people couldn't normally see, even being able to see auras around some people. But here's the weird thing. Fast forward to the Vietnam War, and soldiers are issued Dicenian night vision goggles in order to fight off the guerrilla warfare tactics. Very shortly after, Dicenian night vision goggles were banned effective immediately. <laughs> what? But why? Why would something so beneficial and advantageous to the United States arsenal be banned. Fucking gave me goosebumps when I heard this. Reports started to come back in and the discoveries they made were absolutely horrifying to say the least. Soldiers, those who were wearing the Dicenian night vision goggles for an extended period of time, reportedly began shooting at their very own helicopters. And when brought back and questioned as to why they would do such a horrible thing, all they could say was that they were being chased, haunted, and possessed by not one, but thousands of demons. Oh shit! Coming from the sky. Fuck. Woo. Now, ask yourself this right now: in the times that we in and everything that we be hearing, wouldn't that come in handy right about now? That's all I'm saying, man. It would just distinguish, you know, from the. It would help you to distinguish and discern from the real and from the fake occurrences or uh you know what i'm saying sightings you know that will let you know if this was <clears throat> real or fake is when i say fake is i mean it's man-made and real is i mean it's really them you know the out of this world out of this dimension you know however y'all see it you know because everybody see it in a different way i just feel like they from a different dimension and yeah it's a different world but it's a different dimension and they're different beings they're interdimensional or what they like to say, interdimensional or outer or ultra dimensional beings or whatever they say, you know, but uh, we know what they really are. Imagine while we was all in lockdown, there was something else going on. Hey, everybody. I decided to do what everybody's doing, which is walk outside instead of just being inside. Um, I like everybody. I'm feeling stir crazy and anxious and wondering what's going to happen and how long this is going to last. So I just wanted to say, um, stay safe, pay attention to what they're telling us to do, and uh, this will pass much faster if we all listen to what our smart people are telling us to do. And I mean the smart people. Goodbye. And I mean the smart people. Mm, pay attention. Oh, I remember this? It, it's fantastic. It was beautiful. I'm going to hang up so we have time to send this because I, I loved it. I'm going to call you back when you're ready for the whole song. Okay. All right? All right. Bye. 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 Back when you're ready for the whole song. Okay. All right?
Bye. I know a lot of people probably forgot about that, but I know a lot of people probably remember that too, you know, that was around the pandemic. Around the around the worldwide vacation. At <laughs> the time of the worldwide shutdown and vacation. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember that in about in the with twenty twenty, you know what I'm saying? For a couple of years, man. Well, ask yourself this. What were they doing and what did they do to get those get that get that old ankle jewelry, you know what I'm saying? And why were they wearing it and what happened to those people? That's what you must ask yourself. And what I've been showing y'all this whole video is something to just add all up together for y'all to, you know, to make your mind want to make you think. Why would they have all this stuff going on, like making these masks and everything? And then you see what they was doing back in 2020 and everything. Where did these people go? Do y'all think these people are really out here still performing in front of y'all faces or whatnot? Or do y'all think these people are? I don't want to just tell you everything. Do y'all think these people are just actors and wearing those masks and stuff? Because you see how real those masks are and they have body suits and stuff like that now. Like, come on, man. Like I say, man, like they say, the world is one big stage, man. We just part of the show and half the time we don't even know we in it, you know? I'm telling you. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Give me y'all theories in the comment section. Also similar to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission from South Africa. That's another example. So there's going to be these trials. You're going to see videos of people on trial who you already know. They've already been on trial. That's another weird thing that we learn is that the trials already happened. They've already been videotaped. But then the people were allowed to continue to operate out in the world. So many of the people at the top who are going to be implicated in this, they've already been dragged into secret tribunals. They've already been found guilty by these grand juries that were secret grand juries operating on sealed indictments under the RICO stuff. Again, racketeering influence corrupt operations. They have to, if they're going to take down an organized crime ring, they have to get each person one by one and keep it secret for as long as possible. And they're doing this on a worldwide level. This is the greatest military operation in human history. It is going to be so amazing when people learn the truth. Frank Finley, Says David, I'm sincerely grateful for all you share with the world. It takes courage to follow. Hmm. Y'all remember the Manons of back in the back in the day? I ain't gonna say back in the day, but when we took the worldwide vacay, we was talking about this stuff, man. And it's the reason why they shut them up and shut them down, you know, uh, allegedly, and got got our boy, uh, what's his name, DT, up out that house, you know what I'm saying, out that big White House, you know what I'm saying, because. You know, we know it was a lot of stuff going on that's still going on behind closed doors, man. But it's a lot of stuff going on that was a certain, what they say, operation or military operation, man. And it was a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors, man. It's still going on, you know. A lot of stuff, man. Like good versus evil type stuff, man, you know. But, uh, hey. This is here nor there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that last clip, man. You know, remember Gitmo and all the celebrities and stuff that, or famous people that, you know, did crimes against humanity. You know, they supposed to be a Gitmo. Remember all that, y'all. Don't forget about that. South Carolina, from North Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina. And he was a very conservative guy. He was very, very, not very crazy about African Americans when he shot you. He was all, we always had to fight. He was very, very, not very crazy about African Americans. We've been trying to catch up with you, and I've had talked to the vice president, but. 
whenever you're out there. We want to talk to you. Because I feel like, I don't know, I got your back. I'm just trying to like, press your button. Get you to pull up. Day star. I hear you're free Donald on Wednesday. Like the Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hadn't shown up for debates. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. First pick the day, Donald. And I had uh, these terrible headaches and diagnosed with having a I had to take the top of my head off a couple times, <laughs> see if I had a brain. Anyway, they had to take the top of my head off a couple times, <laughs> see if I had a brain. Hmm. Y'all hear me though? I don't think y'all get it. I don't think y'all really paying attention, man. Y'all just out here surviving and trying to live, man, like we all are, but at the same time, man, you can't be bamboozled, don't be falling for the boo-boo, man, it's my job to keep you on your P's and Q's, man, I'm gonna keep you on your P's and Q's and put it in front of your face, but I can't say too, too much, man, all I can do is put it in your face and let you use your own discernment, ask your own self the questions, question everything, man, and never stop questioning everything, that's all I'm gonna tell you, think for yourself. You had a ship full of African men, women, and children who were at the mercy of the captain and all the sailors on that crew. And those men could have sex with anybody they wanted to. The women, the children, and the men. You had to see three months tied down with these white men. There ain't no women there for the most part. When they start bringing women, they weren't even bringing women. They were bringing girls between the ages of 6 and 15 and raping them all. But they also were raping the men. Same things that were happening on the plantation to demasculinize the black man. Control the slave population is uh, to rape a father in front of his sons uh, or to take the biggest, baddest black man on the plantation and do something horrible to him to completely humiliate and emasculate him so the people won't respect him anymore. And, uh, and that still happens to this day. In the Caribbean, they had seasoning plantations, which were plantations used to break the slaves. And one plantation or one place that had a lot of seasoning plantations was Jamaica. And people have to wonder, what were they doing on these seasoning plantations that was worse than what was happening on the regular plantations? Well, one thing that they were doing on these plantations, especially in Jamaica, they were doing a process called buck breaking where the white supremacist slave owner or the white supremacist um, overseer would literally rape black men in front of the whole black population in order to break his spirit, in order to break him down as a man, in order to show dominance against him, in order to show the rest of the black population that this is not your leader. I just made your leader submit to me sexually. And this happened a lot in Jamaica. This is why homosexuality is so looked down upon in Jamaican culture today. And it was a way primarily of cutting down those who would rebel. In other words, it was, it was a matter of power and control and domination. And they would call it buck busting, but it was really butt busting. Slavery continued until 1865 for about two generations, right? So how do you reconcile that? You can no longer bring in Africans, but you still have the business of slavery. So they still needed Africans to do the work down south, especially after the cotton gin was invented. So you had the creation of breeding farms. Two of the largest slave breeding farms in the United States were on the eastern shore of Maryland and right outside of Richmond, Virginia. They literally bred black people like cattle. They would have a strong black man have sex 
with a healthy black woman. That woman could be his mother, his sister, his aunt, his cousin. It didn't matter because the end product was produce a child that I can sell, bodies that I can sell and ship down to Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. It was a business. We had breeding farms in the United States that, that, that would put one person from one plantation against another. We even had a system where if you were a breeder, male on one plantation, or a female on another plantation, or even on the same plantation, even if you were mother and son, they would mate you. And so I, I tell a lot of my patients and a lot of my friends, you gotta stop using the MF word because that was a description of what actually happened when the paper bag would go over the head to put one breeder against another when they were related. Man, that whole ordeal is disgusting, but people must know. It's a lot of people out here that don't know that this went down and that this happened, man. And yes, there's still forms of this going on across the world today, like in the jail system, penitentiary system. Some is just the other color, some is the same races. It's just, you know, man, it's just sad. And in the music industry, allegedly, you know, I know y'all been hearing about Diddy and stuff lately, you know, but like I say, allegedly, all the stuff is alleged, but man, it's just sad, man. And now, now you kind of have an idea where it came from and who bought it here. I mean, it's sad. It's disgusting, man. It's wicked. It's you got evil out here, and then you have wickedness. That's wickedness. Hollywood back into our labs at one point to look at what we had done, and they were stunned. They're absolutely stunned. Congratulations. The fact that we're allowed to show it tells me the CIA had moved on. I don't know what they're doing. I shouldn't know. I'm dying to know, but I don't know. Relax. You'll get to see it all later. So I'm proud to show people how Man. good we got to that point and let them imagine. So what are they doing now? Man, they don't mean white people. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you know, you know. And y'all, that's the end of it. It's your boy Cougs on Mount, boy. That's the video. Yeah, y'all take it easy.